Hey, what's going on guys? This is Bear Coverage Gaming. I am going to be redoing my TTW guide. Um, I wasn't satisfied with little info that I put at certain parts on my last video. And I noticed a lot of you guys got it running and working and you guys were all happy. But just for some, some people get stuck by watching other TTW videos and they get stuck on the update part. Um, they don't understand why it's not working. Uh, it's because you don't have it in the correct file paths. And I'm going to go over MO2 a little bit better. Other than that, I am going to be remaking the video. So I hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching. So you're going to start off by having Steam um, opened and you're going to download the Steam version of Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas with all DLC or the GOG version, which I don't use and I don't have. So you're going to start by opening Fallout 3. And you're going to generate the INI for that. And then you just exit. And then generate the Fall of New Vegas. And you just need to open up the launchers. And then you're going to go to options. You're going to go to windowed mode. And then you're going to go to the resolution. And just eight samples. And that's it. And then you can exit out of there. And then by going to the links in the description, you're going to go download Tale to Wastelands. Uh, so you're going to click on the installer version. The incremental update and the other in incremental update and then you're going to go ahead and open those up okay let's do them and you're not going to buy a winrar today and while you are waiting you're going to go ahead and make a new folder and call it TTW on your desktop. Okay, so that's done. And then you're going to open up that folder. You can close your browser. Open up that folder, drag and drop all the files into that folder. And then start dragging and dropping. All right, so now we have TTW with all its updates in one file. Perfect. Now we are going to go to Mod Organizer 2, which the link is also, also in the description. So you're going to go ahead and click Manual Download. And you need to make sure you have a Nexus account, obviously, and just press slow download. Okay, and then keep. And then we're going to let that download. Okay, so now once Mod Organizer 2 has fully downloaded, you're going to open it. And you're going to run and you're going to accept the agreement you're going to change this from your c drive i'm going to put it to my ssd drive or you can put it to your d drive i don't recommend putting anything in your c drive and just press make new folder and it's going to call it mo2 and then press ok next 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 sure Great desktop shortcut. Next, install. And you can go ahead and close your browser. And you're going to want to launch Mod Organizer. So it's not a big deal. It just says that because I changed it to my E drive. So you're going to go ahead and create a global instance. You're going to go to TTW and I'm going to rename it to next and then your location here, you're going to change that uh, to you're going to make a new folder in your E drive or whatever drive you uh, want to use. For Tale of Two Wastelands, and you're going to call it TTW 
mods. And then you're going to select that folder. Then you're going to press next. Finish. Do you want Nexus to handle your links? Yes. And to make sure that you sign in, you can sign in right here on Nexus. And you're going to want to go to theme. Change the theme to dark mode, what I use, so you don't burn your eyeballs. You can go ahead and close Mod Organizer 2. Okay. And then you're going to want to reopen Mod Organizer 2. And then you're going to go here. Right here. And then you're going to go to the Open Mods folder. Okay. And then in the Mods folder, you're going to go ahead and press New Folder. And then call it Tale of Two Wastelands. Okay. Close that. Then we're going to go back and automatic archive validation for the real only flag. Good to go. Done with Mod Organizer 2 for now. And then you're free to start downloading TTW. And make sure you run it as administrator. And then we're going to go to TTW 3.2 full. And then we got Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. And then we're not going to put it into our data folder. If we want to mod TTW. If you don't want to mod TTW, put it in your data folder, your New Vegas data folder. So we're going to go to TTW mods, mods, L2 wastelands. And that's where we're installing it. Install. And now you just simply wait. All right, so now once your Tale of Two Wastelands has uh, finished downloading, you're going to go ahead and close this. And then you're going to go back to Tale of Two Wastelands. You're going to go to the install. And we're going to go to TTW 3.2 uh, update to 3.2.1 update. And then you're going to click on this part. And you're going to go to where you downloaded Tale of Two Wastelands. So in Tale of Two Wastelands mods, mods, Tale of Two Wastelands, select folder. And then you're going to do the same for this. Tale of Two Wastelands mods, mods, Tale of Two Wastelands, select folder. And then keep this on New Vegas. And press install. And I've also found in the past, if you haven't ran your game um, on Mod Organizer, uh, sometimes it just says that it doesn't work. So if you run into that problem, just go ahead and go to Mod Organizer and just try to run the game and uh, just close the game after and then try to do the install again. But uh, I didn't run into that problem this time. And uh, anyways, after you download that update, you're going to go back and download the next update. The 3.2.21 to 3.2.2 install. And then for this part, you're going to go to uh, TTW mods, mods, tail to wastelands. And then same for this uh, TTW mods, mods, tail to wastelands. Okay, and then you keep that on New Vegas and press install. And there you go. And now it tells you that you need JIP. So we're going to go ahead and exit. And I have JIP right here. So, anyways, so you're going to have JIP. It's going to tell you you're going to have NVSE. We're going to download that after we get JIP. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to want to open Mod Organizer as well. 
Okay, and then you can find it in here. So you're going to go to slow download. Make sure you signed in Nexus as well. Okay, so there it is. Right there. Now you're going to go to the link. These links are all in my description, by the way. And you're going to find the newest version of NVSE. So I'm pretty sure it's 6.16. Yes, it is. So you're going to go ahead and download that. You're going to open up the file. Okay, so you can see it here. And then you're going to go to um, open game folder. And then you're going to drag and drop into the game folder and press replace the files in the destination. Then you should be good to go. And then you're going to want to reclose. Uh, you're going to want to close MO2. And then run as administrator. So you go down to properties. Go to um, right here. Run as administrator. Apply. Okay. And then tail to wastelands. Jip. So you got your plugins, plugins are enabled. You got MVSE right here. Then you simply run the game. And there you go, Tale of Two Wastelands. Okay, so now that we've ran TTW one time and it's working, uh, we're gonna make some core mods. Uh, we're gonna put some core mods into our mod list. And first you're gonna go to Manage. And you already have default automatic archive and validation if you watched the video earlier. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and copy and you're gonna call this test. And then you go ahead and copy again. You're going to call this Tale of Two Wastelands. All right. And so you're going to go to test, press select. And I'm just doing this so that you can try and uh, mess around with the custom any. So I'm going to put my any in the description. So it's going to be this file, TTW any. And then you can just go ahead and click on the any and copy everything that I have here. Like so. And then you're just going to slap it in the any editor. All custom any and just paste it. And it just makes a lot of, uh, it adds some lot, it adds a lot of fixes. Um, for this part, uh, HDW, HW threads, just put the number of, uh, CPU cores you have. So I have six. So I put six. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and download the core mods that I use to stabilize my game and help with other mods that I download in the future. So you guys can go ahead and copy this if you want or just do your own thing after you saw me open the video. So, anyways, I'm going to download Johnny Guitar. I'm not going to explain all these mods, uh, but I will. If you guys ask me questions in the comments, I will answer them. A lot of the mods explain themselves in the description, so you can go ahead and view that in the description. Okay, Johnny Guitar. And then I use SUP NVSE. So sub NVSC plugin. And a lot of the mods requ uh, require you to have other things downloaded like C++ uh, packages and stuff like that. So just go ahead and download those as well. Uh, I'm assuming that your computer will probably already have them downloaded. So follow New Vegas mod limit. But you can go ahead and check if you've already downloaded those packages already. And I will put them in the description. One tweak.
do, 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 do. And back. Do, 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 do. Almost there. Almost at the home stretch. New Vegas tick fix. Definitely want this one. And you see how it says you need other things for it? Uh, those will be in the description so you can check that out. But most likely you already have them downloaded. And there actually is one more thing that we need. Keep replacer. So for the heap replacer, you are going to download the manual download. And the mod author actually um, added a file inside that can detect what um which one you can use so these are all different things that you can use so you click on cp info xexe and then it says that i can use every single one up to avx2 so i'm going to use the best one avx2 and again um in the description of the mod it will explain what it does so once you do that and have all the mods downloaded we're going to go ahead and go to mod organizer 2 game folder and then open avx2 or whichever one it says for you to use and then you're going to drag and drop the dll into your game folder and that's literally all you have to do and then we're going to go ahead and install all these mods. Next. 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 And it really doesn't matter what order you put these in. They all work fine, whichever order I put them in every time. So it doesn't matter. Just check your plugins. You got your plugins on. And you're going to go ahead and run your game. You're going to notice like a little black box pop up. That is the AVX2 doing its work. Uh, the heat replacer. So you notice how I don't have that ugly border window anymore? That's because I downloaded a heat replacer and uh, one tweak. And then you can go ahead and press the command key. And you can see you have NVSE installed, which version, and JIP. You can see which version you have. And then you can go ahead and press new game and play your game. You'll be fine. You can beat the whole game, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, and everything will work perfect. So if this video ends up getting enough likes and comments on it, I will mod TTW and show more descriptive videos on me modding TTW. I will talk about the mods that I use and the reasons why. And basically, that's it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy your day and thanks for watching.